Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to discuss every single way how we can fix uh, this problem when for example we want to use our mobile uh, cell data but we cannot and what we can do about it. So let's start with the first one and the first one is going to be based for example on my own experience. You should try and actually verify and check your SIM card's age. So basically uh, for example I have this problem that I uh, it appears that, for example, my SIM card age was too high and basically was too old. And I just went to the store and changed my SIM card with the same name. And after that, my mobile, mobile data actually started working. So basically, this might be uh, a reason for you too. So basically, this is going to be the first way of how we can try and do this. Uh, second is going to be, uh, for example, some people sometimes try to uh, switch to their mobile data, uh, but they do not actually turn off Wi-Fi. So basically, these two uh, settings cannot work simultaneously. So what I suggest you're trying to do is when you want to enable your mobile data, try to first turn off your Wi-Fi and then enable your mobile data because they can interfere with each other and this might affect how uh, your mobile data actually works. Next is going to be, uh, this is pretty obvious, you should always uh, verify and check whether or not you have your airplane mode enabled. You will probably notice this almost immediately, but for those who just um, for some reason might just miss it, uh, your airplane mode actually restricts every single thing, basically uh, your not only your mobile data but actually cellular data so you basically cannot call anyone and so on and so forth so basically we need to turn off uh, this airplane mode next is going to be try to restart your phone because sometimes some people just experience this uh, glitch on their phones and after they actually restart their phone something happens with uh, connections and so on and so forth and basically this can be uh, actually not physical problem but a problem specifically with your phone and how it functions and so after we restart our phone there is a high chance uh, and probability that that actually this might fix uh, for example when your phone cannot for example recognize or maybe some uh, again error happened uh, with uh, trying to actually analyze your sim card and so uh, you need to i suggest you're trying to restart your phone next is going to be basically also on my experience and on experience of many other people so basically sometimes when we for example uh, drop our phone or maybe just hit it or maybe something happens and for example we see that we cannot use our mobile data and so what i suggest you're trying to do is to actually take out your sim card and put it back uh, in your phone and sometimes just uh, maybe uh, your SIM card just, uh, I would say, replaced a little bit or maybe something like this. And when you actually put it back on its place, uh, sometimes this actually might fix your problem. Next is going to be try to uh, check your mobile data limit. So basically, if we're going to go into settings of our mobile data, here you might find this um, very interesting setting, which is called uh, mobile data limit. So basically, sometimes our phones just by default have this specific limit. And when you reach it, uh, uh, your mobile data just cut, cuts off. And so basically, you cannot use it any longer. And so uh, what you should do is always go into your uh, data user uh, or mobile uh, cellular data and actually verify whether or not you have this specific limit and you can turn it off or maybe uh, just um, increase the number of your internet consumed data and so basically here uh, you can also try this specific method also what you uh, what you can try if nothing uh, what i've suggested worked you can also try to actually check whether or not the specific problem is with your sim card so basically you can try and take for example your friend's sim card and try to place inside your phone so uh, basically if you've no if you will notice that the specific sim card of someone else for example works but your doesn't this might be mean that for example there's something wrong with your specifically with your specific sim card 
card and not with your phone. But even if you've checked, for example, with several SIM cards, this might mean uh, that, for example, your phone uh, for example, something happened with the uh, slot in which you actually uh, put the SIM card and so on and so forth. So basically, this might be just a problem with specifically your SIM card or with your phone. And if you noticed, uh, for example, that the specific problem is with your SIM card, you can uh, again try to use my first method as to go and actually change your SIM card uh, for the new one. So basically exchange your SIM card. Or if you've noticed that, for example, this specific problem is uh, with your phone, unfortunately, um, in this case, we will need to go and seek some professional service in order to maybe repair your phone or in the worst, maybe change it. But usually I would say that um, a professional can actually repair uh, some of the uh, problems that might have arose in our phones. And so basically these are the uh, main ways of how we can uh, fix this specific issue. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and you found it helpful. If you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos.